What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here. And in this video, I'll be checking out an Amazon renewed remote control by Harmony. It's the 950, and we're going to check it out right after a word from our sponsor, the Hi Fi Summit. Have you ever wanted to attend the Hi Fi trade show but couldn't? Now you can. On June 26th to 30th, the Hi Fi Summit begins. It's going to be a five day event available to people worldwide. There you can see your favorite brands, and you'll get to see all the new products before anybody else. If you're shopping for products, you can even narrow down your search based on price and other specific criteria. You'll be able to chat live with other audio enthusiasts, ask questions about products and get them answered directly by the companies. You'll be able to vote for best in show. You can even leave testimonials for your favorite brands. But no trade show is complete without an after party. So we're going to have Techno Dad spinning every single night. So you'll be able to sit back at home, bump it on your system, go to the HiFiSummit.com, buy your ticket and let your HiFi journey to the top begin. All right, everyone, we're just about a week away from the Hi-Fi Summit. Super exciting. As you know, Denon is a platinum sponsor, PSB a gold sponsor. So we got a lot of cool stuff happening. Make sure to grab your tickets. The link is down in the description. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get notified when the next video gets released. I got a lot of cool home theater and tech videos on the way. So definitely do that so you can be up to date with what's going on. So finally, after a few years, I decided to upgrade my Logitech remote. I have the Logitech Touch. I did buy the 650 just to make a review video and show people how to set it up. And I'll link that video down in the description. And for some reason, we can't find that remote. So we're back to the Logitech Harmony Touch, which my wife hates. So I figured it was now time to upgrade. And I wanted to get the 950, which I think is the same remote that's in the Elite package, just without the Harmony Hub situation. So that's the one I decided to get. And when I was looking around for it, all I could find was the Amazon Renewed one for 149 bucks. So I was like, hey, you know what? Why not? Let's give it a shot. I've never bought anything Amazon Renewed. So I figured, hey, this is a good time to experiment. So that's what I did. And when I got the remote in April, I was actually surprised at the condition of the remote. It still had the little plastic things on there. It had no dense scuffs or scratches. It pretty much looked like a brand new remote that somebody just decided to return, honestly. I think that could have been the situation, but I don't really know. In the box, we have the remote control, a charging cable, a charging base, and a data transfer cable. Now, as with all the other Logitech remotes, you do have to set this up with a computer. So I put this up on my laptop. And as you can see, I've had three previous Logitech remotes and the app is cool because it saves all the settings from all of the remotes, which is handy. Since I have the Harmony Touch already set up to do everything we need to do currently, I went ahead and just had the app copy settings from the Harmony Touch over to the Harmony 950. And that was super quick and easy. Like I really didn't need to set up anything more since I already had done it. Now, if you guys are wondering how to set it up and you guys want a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to set up one of these remotes, I did that in a previous video, which I'll link down in the description and with a card on top. So you guys can watch that step-by-step. -step. I figured I didn't need to do it all over again. So in this situation, since I needed the remote up and running really quickly, I just had to copy the settings over. So the Harmony 950 has a favorite channels list kind of situation that you have to set up in app. First, you have to select your TV service provider. In my case, it was DirecTV, then enter the zip code, and then I can access all the channels to place favorites on the LED screen. After choosing the channels from the list, then you figure out where you want them to live on screen. The My Harmony app syncs to the remote, and when it's done, we are good to go. I have the remote set up with activity, so when I tap DirecTV, it turns on the AVR, TV and sets the proper inputs. When I tap OPPO 203, it will turn on the OPPO, change inputs on the AVR, and then we're watching a movie. Now, if I wanted to stream from the Roku Ultra, I would just press Roku Ultra and it would change inputs to the Roku and then wake it up. Now, one of the big things I loved about this upgrade is the location of the buttons. As you can see from both remotes here, the Harmony Touch has the transport controls above the screen, whereas now the buttons are below the screen on the Harmony 950. And this is huge. Why is it huge, Techno Dad? Well, when you have the remote in your hand, you don't need to move your hand physically to hit the play, pause, and whatever buttons, as opposed to any of the other buttons like volume and channel up and down. Whereas on the Harmony Touch, I literally have to slide my hand up. And when you do this, you kind of like 
do this balancing act where you either have to use two hands to do this or you have to pick up and press the fast forward, play, pause, stop buttons with your hand while the remote is resting on something else. So it's pretty annoying when you're holding the remote in your hand and everything is at your thumb and then all the play pause controls are up at the top of the remote. It's just a pain in the butt. So I'm glad they did that. Another thing that was kind of weird that we experienced on the Harmony Touch is sometimes we would accidentally hit the off button while trying to press the rewind button. And now with the new design, the off button is at the very, very top and there are no other buttons around there. So now that situation is totally cleared up. I don't accidentally hit the power button when I'm hitting the rewind button. So all in all, I think the design changes to the Harmony 950 are leaps and bounds better than the Harmony Touch, so I'm stoked about that. Another difference between the two remotes is that the Harmony Touch can only handle eight devices, whereas the Harmony 950 can handle 15 devices. So if you are a person that has a ton of different devices, the Harmony 950 is probably just the way to go. Another cool feature on the 950 is that you get feedback when you actually press a button on the LED screen. Now we did not get that before with the Harmony Touch, but with the 950, it actually vibrates so that you know that a command has been input into the remote. So I think that's pretty cool as you don't have any guesswork. Well, did it know that I pressed the button? Did it register? What's going on? Why is this thing not changing? So I like that aspect. That's pretty cool. And with the activities and devices menus, they actually have different colors at the top. The activity screen has a teal banner at the top and the devices screen has a blue banner at the top of the screen. These visual cues are great. And if there's any confusion, like the other night, my wife was like, why is this not changing anything? And I looked at the top and I was like, oh, you're in devices. Just tap activities and then tap direct TV to get back to normal TV. And she's like, oh, OK. Swiping left and right and scrolling up or down on screen is very responsive. And the button presses give a satisfying click. OK, so the biggest test for me is, is my wife going to like this remote? And, you know, can she turn on the TV when I'm not there? Can she use the remote without issues? And does she just not hate it? Like she hated the other Harmony Touch. Now, so far she's really happy with it, which is great for me because then I don't have her complaining about it all the time like she was with the Touch. Uh, almost every day something would happen, whether she's rewinding or fast forwarding, then all of a sudden it changes out of her, whatever she's watching to a different channel and all this, that and the other. And, I thought it was because she wasn't actually pressing the buttons or she was pressing fast forward and then she pressed stop by accident. I don't know what the situation was, but she was just not having a good time with that remote. It was just bad. And all she wants to do is watch TV and turn it on. And she just understands that it's just not that easy. Now the 950 performs as it should controlling everything on my living room home theater. And that's the TV, AVR, Xbox, Oppo 203, DirecTV box, Roku Ultra, Apple TV 4K, and whatever else I might actually have in for review. Since I do review a lot of different things and I'm constantly changing things in the setup, this will allow me to just, you know, add another device and make it work without me having to do a whole lot of juggling around. Just go to the app, add the new device, add a new activity, psh, set. Awesome. Love it. Now, as far as buying my first Amazon renewed product, I was actually pretty surprised about the condition of the remote control. And I don't know if this was again, like somebody had just bought it and was just like, eh, and returned it and never touched the thing or never used it, never unplugged it. Uh, the cables all looked brand new. The remote looked brand new. And as you can see, it is a nasty fingerprint magnet. And getting the fingerprints off this thing isn't really the easiest thing to do. So I'm not sure what goes on with the renewed process, but I pretty much lucked out maybe, or maybe this is how it is. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I am now not thinking twice about buying Amazon renewed. As I stated before, this was 149. You can buy them brand new for 199 at B&H. And I believe these were 250 when they came out a few years ago. So if you're looking for a remote control to replace a lot of your remote controls just for daily use, I think this is a good option, especially at 149. I think that's a great price. I believe I bought the Harmony Touch for 99 uh, back in the day when they were having a sale on Crutchfield. So 
definitely check out the Logitech Harmony 950. And again, if you need a step-by-step -step walkthrough, I'll put a link in the description to that other video I made a couple of years ago. Now, if you guys have any questions about this or anything else, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your Techno Dan. I'll see you next time.